So we started the year 2020 with the same resolutions, the same hopes, the same more of the same that we have been pursuing. We thought that sustainability was at the core of all activities. We thought that ethics was going to be at the core. We thought that we had the science, we had the internet, we had all the knowledge. But all of a sudden, there is this stop. I mean, I am always shocked when we know that we have a common enemy. We should mobilize the world against the enemy. We should not immobilize the world. And what we've done is immobilizing everyone. And by deciding to immobilize everyone, we have forced us to rethink reality. And we're at a very important crossroads. Either we're going to go, as some people suggest, we're going to go into a world where we are going to wear face masks for the rest of our lives and we're going to have to be vaccinated, uh, all of us, all the time so that we can protect ourselves. Or are we going to learn our lessons from nature? Are we going to be inspired by nature? And are we going to listen to nature telling us that when you keep on destroying biodiversity, you give the pathogens a chance. You can't keep on destroying biodiversity without leaving the genie out of the box with all the pathogens that are coming at us because there is a naturally balancing act. And can we then finally start looking at how we can cleanse ourselves and strengthen ourselves instead of simply having ourselves being submitted to the chemistry and the controls that sometimes are a bit overwhelming for the life that we want to have? Let me give you an example. We've just learned that the way our blood is able to take carbon dioxide, um, thanks to the working of the lungs, we can use exactly the same technique for taking microplastics out of the ocean. I mean, we have to learn how our lungs are working. And, and our lungs are a marvel of design. And just like the forests are the big lungs for the earth, our lungs have these tiny little sponges connected to these capillaries that are able to only take out the CO2. Now, we could use the same to only take out a virus. We can do the same to take, only, uh, take out microplastics from the oceans. And I think this is why we need such a disruptive moment. We need the disruption to be able to tell us that a completely new way is possible. But we have to keep a few principles in mind. Let it be based on the beauty of nature. Let it be based on the marvels of billion years of evolution. Because when we're inspired by nature, we will find solutions that we have never been able to imagine before. And therefore, when you wake up tomorrow in the morning and you're confined and you're sad about the lost friends, when you wake up tomorrow morning, you look out to the window and look out to that horizon and let your pupils open up all the way and imagine, imagine what we've never imagined before. Early this year, I took my children to a place where no one wanted to be, Bahia Solana. Colombia. It's the place where tourism came to a complete stop. Unemployment went to 97%. People don't have enough money to pay for an egg. And so this is the place by Solana where a million eggs of sea turtles are being laid every year. And people are going along the beach every night to find that, that bunch of eggs because this is food for them. Well, ladies and gentlemen, when I got there, I just started distributing chickens because for every egg that they wanted to eat, I wanted to give them a chicken that would lay the eggs. And when, when, when we started collecting, we realized that within a year's time, we will have saved a million turtles. But these turtles, they're going from the sea in Colombia. They're going back and forth. They get impregnated in their brain, the exact location where they were born. And, and they go into the currents of the ocean, go all the way to Asia, China and Japan. And 15 years later, they will come back to their birthplace to bring the eggs 
the future, the life. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have decided we are going to make an electrocardiogram of those eggs. We want to listen to the first heartbeat. We want to listen to life coming back and releasing millions of eggs. And the solution is very simple. Give people some good chickens so they can lay the eggs instead of people being hungry and killing off the turtles. We want the root of the turtles from Latin America over the Pacific to China and Japan to come back and be a symbol of life, perseverance, and having a purpose to go forever and never give up.